Barcelona interested in hiring former Manchester United boss Ralph Rangnick to succeed Xavi. Former Manchester United interim manager Ralph Rangnick is reportedly in the running to become Barcelona's next boss. Barcelona are on the hunt for a new manager after Xavi announced last month that he would be leaving the Camp Nou after nearly three years in charge. Among the names linked with the La Liga giants is Jurgen Klopp who will be available once he leaves Liverpool at the end of the season. Mikel Arteta has also been tipped with a return to his boyhood club but he has reaffirmed his commitment to Arsenal. Now, Spanish outlet Sport have reported that Barcelona president Joan Laporta is a big fan of Rangnick and has added him to the shortlist of possible Xavi replacements. Though his Red Devils spell did not go well, the German is still well regarded, especially for his ability to develop young talents into top players. Rangnick is currently the manager of the Austrian national team and is currently preparing for this summer's Euro 2024. The 65-year-old is best known in England for a disastrous few months at Old Trafford where he was brought in to replace the sacked old Gunnar Solskjaer until the end of the season. He would win just 11 of his 31 games and though he was meant to stay on at the Premier League club in a consultancy role he, instead left to take over Austria. Among those to criticize Rangnick was former United forward Cristiano Ronaldo, who claimed he had never even heard of the coach prior to his arrival at Old Trafford. Prior to this, he was best known for his successful and influential work in Germany, both as a manager and as RB Leipzig's sporting director. Eric Ten Hag reached out to Ivory Coast star Sebastian Haller after super-emotional AFCON glory. Eric Ten Hag has been in touch with Sebastian Haller after his late winner for Ivory Coast in the Africa Cup of Nations final for Ivory Coast, with the pair maintaining contact after their spell together at Ajax and the striker's cancer scare. The former West Ham forward was the hero for the host nation at the weekend, scoring the final goal of the game in a 2-1 win over Nigeria as Ivory Coast won the tournament in Abidjan. This came just 18 months after Haller was diagnosed with testicular cancer, a scare which came shortly after he left Ajax to sign for current club Borussia Dortmund. It has been an incredible journey for the 29-year-old, who has bounced back to a career high point of winning the Africa Cup of Nations in fine style. Ten Hag was Haller's manager at Ajax, where the strikers scored 47 goals in just 66 games and they have maintained a close relationship ever since. I had direct contact with Seb on Sunday night after the final, said Ten Hag. There has also been frequent contact during his period of illness. I tried to support him as much as possible. Of course, he had only been away from Ajax for a fortnight when the illness was diagnosed. For me too, that was a huge blow. A sportsman in the prime of his life with a young family of three children and then such an illness. The way he dealt with it deserves great respect. He did not flee in anger but accepted it immediately and took everything he could to improve his chances of recovery and be resilient. He has fought his way back tremendously and then it is great that this is now followed by such a well-deserved sporting highlight. Things have not been going as well at Dortmund as they re at Ajax for the striker, yet to score a Bundesliga goal this season and missing a penalty in the final game of the last season, costing his side the Bundesliga title. This highlight is so much to Seb's credit after everything he has been through, said Ten Hag. His story is of course super emotional. From a sporting point of view, it was difficult for him. Last year he missed the title with Borussia Dortmund and missed a penalty in the decisive match. That he then is now an African champion is great. Seb is a fantastic personality, a real team player. That attitude doesn't suit a striker, but that's how he always sets himself up. He is modest and humble, just a great player to have in your squad and he radiates calmness and tranquility. You can see that in his game. He is imperturbable and therefore able to score such a decisive goal at such an important moment in difficult circumstances. Barcelona Stance presents opening for Manchester United to sign star midfielder. Manchester United get thrown into the speculation will every time Frankie de Jong's name is mentioned. The Reds infamously spent months chasing the Barcelona midfielder around in the summer transfer market, and I don't know anyone that fancies a repeat of that dragged-out saga. It has been widely suggested in the Spanish media that Barcelona could look to sell the Netherlands international at the end of the season, in a bid to raise funding which is something the La Liga giants have repeatedly struggled to with for years.
According to Football Insider, Barcelona will be forced to sell key stars, like De Jong, if they are planning to make their own signings later this year. It is understood that this will present an opening to Premier League clubs, potentially long-term admirers United and Chelsea, to sign De Jong. The question is will Eric Ten Hag make another attempt to bring De Jong to the Premier League? I wouldn't put it past him given how much he likes working with former players. Ten Hag knows De Jong from his time at Ajax. The midfielder was part of his squad that reached the Champions League semi-finals in 2019. Let us know in the comments section if you think United should be still trying to bring De Jong to Old Trafford.